Paul Russ here, our very TV. The journey continues. We just left the Blythe and Taglias. We're heading north. This is uh, US 95. Now there's also a Arizona 95 that goes up through Havasu. Then they connect up the road. But this is US 95 north. This is a very scenic. You've kind of followed the Colorado River up quite a ways and then the river cuts over towards Havasu and then also along here there are several uh, mobile home resorts and I think they have RV sites too quite a few of them but if you google map it you'll see them they're kind of remote a lot of boaters use them they got storage uh, truthfully I've never explored them that much Okay, we're heading up here about another 15 miles or so from the Intaglias. I'm going to show you a kind of a cool way to get over to Arizona without going through Parker and uh, Blythe. You can see the big washes and stuff. A lot of four-wheeling out here. Other than that, there ain't a whole lot <laughs> to it. But on the right, on the riverside, there's a lot of four wheeler, and also along uh, where those uh, resorts are. Kind of cool. Here we are. This is called Wilson Road. We're going to make a right here. Now, check this out. This is uh, Indian. This starts an Indian reservation here, too. This part of the crit. I forget the road. Okay. Yeah. Indian 18. Because we are on crit land. This is uh, Indian. We're going to go down here about two miles. This is a great way to get to Parker without having to go clear up through Vidal Junction and cut double and back. You save a ton of miles coming over here. Okay, we're winding down through uh, this. There's a huge wash here, I guess you'd call it. Four wheelers, they come out here a lot. But you'll see right up the road here will be the river. What a pretty day. Gonna heat up into about 90. Yesterday we had high winds. Okay, right there is the bridge. We're at the edge of California, and as soon as we go across the bridge, we'll be in Arizona. Let me make a right here on this little road. It's super windy, but I'm going to launch a drone real quick. But it is super windy here. Oh, just seen a four-wheeler go down through there. Okay, let me launch a drone. Be back. Okay, up we go. There it is, that's the Wilson Road Bridge. And that connects, this is all uh, Indian Reservation. There's the Colorado River. That's looking up towards uh, Parker. The dirt road follows along the river quite a ways. Right there's Arizona, all the ag fields. And down that direction is Blythe. And you can see how desolate the land is. I mean, there's nothing here. No farming on the California side. It's all on the Arizona side. Anyway, if you're out this direction, take Wilson Road. You'll cut off a ton of miles going between Blythe and Parker. Okay, I'll get landed and we'll keep on trucking. Winds are just screaming here. Let me get turned around. My goodness. It's like that a lot along the river. Okay. Isn't that cool? That was a good shot. You can see what it is. But definitely, if you're going to go from Parker to Blythe, this is the way to go. 
Okay, we're going to cross the bridge. Colorado River. There we go. So long, California. Now we're in Arizona. And all these fields here, they're all uh, owned by corporations. This is Indian land. I think some of it's leased. I don't know how they do it, actually. But they grow absolutely everything here. Well, they got all the water in the world, Colorado River. Okay, to get all the way across, we're going to go up stop sign, make a right. And we're going to head down to Ehrenberg. But we'll go through Poston first. But we're, let's make a right up here. The whole length from California here is about five miles. All right, we're heading south. I believe they call this AZ-1 or Indian-1, something like that. It's Route 1. If you went north, you'd end up in uh, Parker. Like where we made it right back there, you're about 12 miles from Parker. And we're about 20-some miles from uh, Ehrenberg. That's where we're heading. Huge ir irrigation canals here. Okay, here is the town of Poston, Poston, Arizona. Now there is a backstory here. Back during World War II, this was a big internment camp for the Japanese. And I'm going to stop up here. I drove past this for years. I've been traveling this road for, oh my god, years and years. But see where these palm trees are, uh, are up here on the left? I drove past this a long time. I thought it was a rest area. But it turns out it's a memorial for the internment camp and what went on here back in the 40s. I'll stop real quick and we'll do a quick walkthrough. But uh, that's it. There's a memorial here in Poston, Arizona. Unbelievable. And the wind's still blowing. I won't fly the drone. We'll just do a quick walkthrough with the GoPro. I'll be back. Okay, I've stopped here a couple times. Really well done. Unbelievable, really, what went on here. Type the storyboard, gives you the info. How many people were affected by all this? 42 to 45. The amount of construction that went on. They built the main base of all the canals to grow food. All of it, the housing. See there, now it's all run by the Indians. The Crit. Colorado River Indian Tribe. And here's their memorial statue. Look at the little flowers around the base. There it is. Well done. I mean, this is out in the middle of Post in Arizona. Okay, I'm going to get out of here, but if you're interested in this kind of stuff, it's right along uh, the road between Ehrenberg and Parker. We're going up to Walmart from Quartzsite. Take a side trip. There's our little flowers. More storyboards of what was built. Amazing. How history changes, doesn't it? But at least they still remember. Look at that, all the people that served. Japanese. Huh. Amazing. Stand here and just read this stuff. Alright, time to go. Okay, they got brochures here. I'm going to grab one. 
get website info for you. I'll put it in the description. There it is. I'm sure this stuff's online too. Poston Memorial Monument. Google it. All right, well, let's head on down the road. There's one more thing I'll show you on the way down to Ehrenberg that I discovered, oh, about three, four years ago. There ain't much out here, all farmland. Okay, let's head on south. Next stop, Ehrenberg. This is also a great cut through. You see a ton of RVs uh, go from Interstate 10 up through Parker. A lot of trucks will run this too. Big uh, ag place there on the right, all their equipment. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna stop up here. There's a little memorial. It's right up here. I'm gonna pull off to the right. I spotted this about five years ago and I stopped and read the thing. So let's stop and I'll show it to you. I'll be back. Okay, here we are. Not as much wind here either. I'm gonna fly the drone over this. I couldn't really pull down in there. Used used to be able to park down here by the tree, but look how soft that is. I didn't want to get stuck in a van. Okay, now this is a memorial for the Indians. Way back in the 1800s, there was uh, it was like a prison camp by the army. And they held uh, Indians here. It was a real disaster. Many of them died. Uh, there's still the foundations to the buildings. We'll see that from the drone. Also, there's a ceremony here every year by the Crit tribes. You can see the fresh flowers here on the memorial. And, uh, huh. I mean, the backstory, I don't understand at all. I'll try to find links to it. But, uh, it's here. Once again, you drive by stuff, and you just don't know what it is until you stop. Get the drone up in the air. I shall return. Okay, up we go. See the flowers there on the memorial? Okay, there's the foundations. There's a better shot of them. Some are made out of stone. Then you can see the fenced area. But that was some kind of a fort way back in the 1800s. It was like a prison camp or something. Something like that. Colorado River is off little ways maybe probably about a mile maybe out that direction see there ain't much out here there's a dirt trail there for ATVs okay get another look at it there's two foundations and a third in the fenced area amazing after all these years, 100, what is that, 140, 50 years? Absolutely amazing. Anyway, I hope it's interesting to you. There's a ton of history. You just never know where you're going to find it. We're roughly three miles north of Ehrenberg. And once again, this is the road between Ehrenberg and Poston.
there you go. That's the historic trip back from the Blythe and Tagley is miles wise we probably drove from the time we left in Taglia's all the way around maybe an extra 30 miles to do the loop up over the bridge okay we're back in Ehrenberg the big town gonna get back on Interstate 10 and head back to Quartzsite Okay, that's Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon.